Hi beauties, welcome back to another episode of Porters. I mean, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> few months ago I did a massive clean out of my entire wardrobe and if you missed that you can watch it right here but I did not include my coats in this clean out because they were in storage and let me tell you I have a lot of them so they definitely deserve a video of their own and you're probably thinking to yourself what is this girl that lives in California of all places in one of the hottest parts of the state doing with a million coats I love them. A lot of people know me for my frilly feminine dresses and I love a good dress, that is not even a question, but I also love a really good coat. And I would say that dresses and coats are probably about even. I really, really, really love a good winter coat. But the problem is I have way too many of them. Over the years, it's kind of accumulated and since I love all of them so much, I just keep all of them while more are coming in, so you can see my dilemma here. Plus, I don't really have a lot of storage space, so I've just got to do it. I've got to get rid of some of my coats. As much as I don't want to, I need to. So when I do a clean out, which I do every single season, I do a few things. I like to divide everything up in piles. Some things I just need to take to the tailor, and so I'll keep those, but I'll put them in a separate pile. And then other things I will get rid of completely, and I do a few things with those. So the first thing that I like to do is donate to my local homeless shelter, and then I like to consign my higher-end items at a local consignment shop. And then I also reserve a few to sell on Poshmark, and for the first time I'm actually going to be selling on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, make sure you are. My handle is at Lizzie in Lace. And then lastly, I'll keep a few that I think a family member or friend might like. And to be completely transparent, I've been putting this off for such a long time and I'm putting it off even more just by talking. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> And this is what we're working with. <laughs> I told you I had a lot of coats and I think I delivered on that. So yeah, as you can see, many, many, many different kinds, pretty much every color of the rainbow. And today, I'm going to go through them. Okay, so I love pretty much anything with a faux fur collar, so I will likely keep pretty much all of the coats with that detail. And this one is really cute because it also has a little bow in the back. This one I've had for a long time and I just haven't really worn it, so I'm gonna give that one away. This is one of my most worn faux fur coats. I don't have any real fur other than vintage. And I really, really, really love like the boho vibe of this one plus it also looks really glamorous so i can't part with that one this one is actually a find from one of my new york fashion week trips i went to a sample sale and got this <laughs> and i love it so much it's like a creamy white color but it has all kinds of really pretty colors in it got a really cute little 60s shift shape going on and the color is a really pretty salmon. I will keep this one. This one is really similar in color. This was my first J. Crew coat and I believe I got it from Poshmark. I just need to see if it still fits. If it doesn't then I will sell it. This is one of my favorite coats. It's from Kate Spade and the buttons are so beautiful and glamorous and I just love the faux fur plus the color is really, really pretty. 
another favorite. This reminds me of like Blair Waldorf. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a pink plaid um, with some black and gold metallic thread. It's really pretty. When I was doing the red, I totally forgot about these. So sorry that it's not color coordinated. Anyway, this is one of my favorites. This is Kate Spade, and it's a really pretty, like, maroon wine color. It doesn't really translate that well on camera, but it's super pretty. and has this really cute bow neck detail. And then a cape. I've been loving capes. This one reminds me of Little Red Riding Hood with the, the little bow. It is so cute. I'm obsessed. And then I also have this cape, and it has a really pretty faux fur collar and some embroidered flowers. And this is probably the most glamorous coat I own. <laughs> it's from J. Crew, and I looked high and low for it. It is so pretty and so cozy, and it's such a pretty, like, mauvey color, and it just broke my hanger because it's so heavy. <laughs> And I actually have three of these coats. This is the Stadium Cloth Parka from J. Crew, and I wear this one all the time. This is like my casual coat when I'm just kind of going out to run errands and I'm not dressed up or anything like that. It is so warm and cozy, but I have two other ones. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I love the color, it's really gorgeous. This one is also one of my most worn coats. It goes with everything. It's such a pretty color. And yeah, I just love it. This one I got last year and I wore it all the time. I love it so much because of these cute little bow details near the pockets and it has like a pleated bottom so that it kind of flares out. It's really really cute and it's a really nice muted blush color. And yes this is the same cape in a different color but I loved it so much that I had to get the pink version. It is honestly the cape of my dreams. It has a really beautiful faux fur color and some really pretty embroidered flowers. This is my favorite trench coat. It is the cutest thing ever. I love little ruffly details and I don't know, it's just really cute. I love the color too. And this one I love and I have shot but I actually haven't taken the tag off. So I need to try this one on. I really love the buttons and the flared hem though. It is super cute. So yeah, I don't know. I hope it fits. <laughs> this is another blush trench and I actually took this one with me to Europe a few years ago. It is perfect and it goes with everything. also another favorite. I have worn it so much. It is so chic and glamorous and I just love the light pink color. And this one looks very similar to the last one, but I love it so much. I've worn it for years. The color is gorgeous and the shape is just so flattering. This is a really nice jacket from Day. I went to their show last September, I believe. Um, I can't really remember. I think it was last September or February. But anyways, they make the most beautiful blazers, jackets, coats, skirts, everything. <laughs> um, they're so beautiful. And I have a ton of their coats in my closet, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> absolute favorite vintage coat. It was actually given to me as a gift from one of my students' parents. 
At first I wasn't so sure about the color because it's, you know, not my typical color, but it is so, so beautiful. And yes, this is real fur, but it is vintage and they used a lot of real fur back then. I love the icy blue. It is so pretty. And of course, another faux fur collar. This is another coat that I have worn a million times. The color is so beautiful. It goes with everything. It reminds me of Elsa. I think that's why I like it so much. fun. I don't have a lot of patterned coats, but I really love this one. It's kind of like a really gorgeous blue and black plaid. And I have a matching skirt to go with it. Also really love this. I am obsessed with tweed. I think it is so elegant and chic. And this one has like a blue tone, but it has a lot of really pretty colors inside. And then also some really nice pearl details along the edge. This is one of my all-time favorite coats. Of course it has the collar, but it also has a bow and a plaid pattern. This is one of my other stadium cloth coats, and this is the one that I wear the least. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and sell that one. Also love this one. It's a really light purple and it has some bows on the sleeves. And another princess cut. I love this purple color. Of course you have the collar, but you also have these really pretty jeweled buttons. And floral lining. This is another favorite. It is super lightweight. It's a really pretty tweed jacket with some silver metallic threads and some pearl buttons and ruffle details and then I really love this one it's totally something that I wouldn't usually go for because it has kind of like a menswear vibe but that's what I love about it, it kind of reminds me of the 1930s Another vintage coat and it is a little bit too big so I think I need to try it on but it is super cool this is probably one of the most beautiful coats that I own it is so stunning it reminds me of something that like royalty would wear it has a really nice magenta and black brocade and a soft faux fur collar another leather jacket it is so beautiful and yeah it's quite edgy it has these really nice stud details some zippers and it is probably the opposite of what you would think whenever you look at me but um, it looks really beautiful with like a nice flowy dress and yeah it's it's absolutely gorgeous Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed watching me go through my coat closet. <laughs> and if you are interested in any of these beauties, make sure you keep an eye out on my Poshmark and my Instagram, both of which are linked in the description. Comment below to let me know what type of coat is your very favorite. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.